In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animation sprite sheet using two popular open source tools, Inkscape and Shoebox. This demonstration will use pre-made assets, so my first step is to find the assets I want to create an animation from in vector form. The vectors I'm using in this example are from the original Kenny Assets pack, but they are also available on Open Game Art. Find them under Platformer Art, More Animations, and Enemies. I will be using Inkscape and Shoebox to create my sprite sheet, and the Construct2 game engine ultimately to test that it all works. I have the necessary assets handy, so it's on to the next step. Using Inkscape, we are going to export each frame of our animation as a raster. Later on, we will combine these into a single sprite sheet using Shoebox. With Inkscape open, locate the vector that has the art you want and drag it onto the stage to import it into your document. The plus and minus keys zoom in and out respectively. First, ungroup all the contents. Next, find the spinner graphics and group each into a single object, dragging up and out of the way. We want to specify our dimensions in pixels, and then click the lock icon to constrain proportions. Now, resize each spinner to be 96 pixels wide. You will notice that the second spinner isn't as tall as the other two. Whenever possible, we want to build animations from rasters of the same dimension. In order to make the second frame match the dimension of the others, we will place it inside a transparent 96 by 96 pixel box, centering it horizontally and vertically. Select what looks like a square from the toolbar and use it to create a square. Click on the lock to disable constraining proportions, and then in the fill and stroke menu, mark the fill and stroke paint of our box to transparent. Now resize the box to 96 by 96. Using shift click, select the second spinner and the box, and then go to the align and distribute menu. Center both horizontally and vertically. Then select and group together. Next, we'll use the export PNG image menu and export each spinner as a raster of the same size. 96 by 96. Make sure to use lowercase and to logically name your files. At this point, you should have three rasters, one for each frame in your animation. Now it's time to combine these three rasters we just exported into a single sprite sheet. Start by launching the shoebox program and drag the three rasters to the frame sheet option under animation. You will see a preview of your three frame sprite sheet. Take a moment to peruse the settings available to you and then choose save. I like to keep my file names nice and neat, including in them the dimensions and number of frames in my animation. At this point, you can create your animation using your game engine of choice. I am using Construct2. I'm going to create a new object type on the game layer entitled Spinner. I'm going to build the default animation using the From Sprite Strip option. I'm going to configure the collision polygon and apply it to the whole animation. I will do the same thing for the origin point. Lastly, I will change the animation to loop so that my spinner keeps on spinning. Now I can place as many object instances as I want on my layout.
My project includes a special enemies family that can destroy the player, so I will add Spinner to it as well. Now let's test it to see if it all works. As you can see, our animation works perfectly. 